Okay, what we're going to look at here is what we call solving inequalities in graphing. An inequality is something that has one of these four signs in between there. It could have a less than sign, it could have a greater than sign, or a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to. Okay, an equality has an equal sign, so this is an inequality. It's got one of those four signs. Now, to begin with, we are going to treat this less than or equal to sign here as any ordinary equal sign. It is a border, so my first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the brackets, and then I'm going to go across border shopping. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 7 is 35, minus 3, less than or equal to 3x plus 4. So I've got rid of all brackets. Now let's bring the 3x across the border, and the plus 35 and the minus 3 onto that side of the border. Now I'll have 10x minus 3x here. And over here I'll have the plus 4, I'll have a minus 35 because it's changed signs, and I'll have a plus 3. Left hand side is 7 x, right hand side is minus 28. Divide both sides by 7 because the opposite of multiplying by 7 is dividing by 7, and out pops x less than or equal to negative 4. Now what you are trying to find in an inequality is everything that solves the uh, original equation. And if I take the graph and find negative 4 in the graph here, then less than is anything to this side. So I graph this side of the equation. So all numbers on this side. Because it says equal to there, I'm going to fill in this dot. So that dot's filled in and that, that's the equal to part of it and this is the less than side of it. Okay. Last question, I just want to go over this possible graphing thing. We had x less than, and the less thans are on this side. It also said or equal to, that's what that little line under there means. If it had said this, s x just less than negative 4, then you put an open circle on negative 4, but you still shade the less than area. So you're still shading that area there. Notice that this arrow is pointing in the same direction as the less than sign is pointing. If the question had said greater than, then we'd have to shade the other direction. So we shade this way and put an arrow. So any number there, greater than works, or equal to. So because it has the little equal to sign there, I fill in the dot. If it didn't have the equal to sign, then I would just shade the greater than part like this, but leave it as an open circle. So it's a closed circle if it has a little equal to sign there, and an open circle if it has a greater than sign there. Now there's one last rule about inequalities. If on an inequality you ever get something happening like this, where you have to divide both sides by a negative number. Okay, so you're dividing both sides by negative 5 there. What happens is the less than sign or the greater than sign, whichever way it is, gets switched around. So instead of saying less than or equal to, you now say greater than or equal to. Negative 5 cancels negative 5. 5, 25 divided by negative 5 is negative 5. Okay, 
You only do this switch if you are dividing both sides by a negative number. Up here in this question, I was dividing both sides by a positive 7, so I did not switch the sign around. Okay?